sit back and I was thinking, I said, Mo3 probably looking at me like, you dumbass. Mm -hmm. I done put you in position to get where we put you in position where you make millions and you going back trying to help these niggas who don't want it. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Right now, I see you riding around in a truck with Sko. I don't know if you got a new podcast. I don't know what the hell going on. What was y'all doing? Uh, I just called it. I loved it though. I love the you know the behind the scene look. Like okay, what is this nigga doing? It's something you know. I wake up and come over something. It was hard. I like I, it. It's more that I took them to Oak Cliff. I took them to Deep Ellum. I rode around. Took them to the West End train station. What was uh, this? This all in preparation of the Mo Three uh, album anticipation. Yeah, I'll be waking up just trying to come over something. Just trying to figure it out. Yeah, I got to make it go top three in the world. A lot of people are waiting to see. For, we, yeah. lot of you, you made people wait on this album so long, and you, you we don't want it to be an anticlimactic event. Yeah, the worst thing that happened to me is another rapper die, and they go to, to get them top two spots. Like DMX did that shit on me, and uh, I don't need nobody else to do it. I think we go. I think we go pass up right now. Uh, Sixty Red just took number one. Um, we're gonna be right there. We'll be neck and neck. Neck and neck. Yeah, no, nah, for real. Man, I, I I look at I look at things from a whole different perspective when it come down to this music industry, man. And I be trying to figure out who's next in Dallas, man. You give me all my insight a lot of time on the new cats. What what do you see in Dallas right now? Don't go off because I'm telling you, they watching you. They want to hear what you got to say about this Dallas movement. Uh, man, you got them drill niggas. Um. Uh, you got the drill niggas. You got, you know, the Z nerds in Montana. Uh, I think Sean, Sean, Sean Cotton artist, uh, Four Ants, he gonna pass the album up quick. He out of Dallas? Yeah, out of Dallas. And uh, I think uh, Motion Chavo go pass them up too. Uh, that's the one I just signed. Uh, I don't want to deal with no more black artists. No more niggas. Mm. Well, I thought you got, you still got my boy, don't you? Ooh. My boy. Bumpy? Yeah. Bumpy cool. Bumpy just don't work hard. What you mean he don't work hard? Man, I listen, I, what I came up to the conclusion is I can't want it more than the rappers. And that's every rapper that I've been around since Mo3 died. I've been trying to push them to be stars when they got to want to be stars. Well, ain't no way I do more interviews than them and put out more content than them and stay relevant when they actually the artists. So if I got to call your phone two or three times a month and two or three times a week and say, post this or go do an interview or shoot a video, drop this, drop this, you don't want to be no star. And I, I've been forcing it. Ever since Mo3 died, every rapper I ever had, I lost, I lost $300,000 to Baby C trying to force him to be a star. You know what I'm saying? I lost a hundred thousand trying to force him to be a star. So at the end of the day, I'm not finna force nobody to be a star no more. Like, like, like I can't, I can't want it more than you. When God don't bless me, I, I just sit back, I sit back and I was thinking, I said, Mo three probably looking at me like you dumbass. Mm -hmm. I done put you in position to get where we put you in position where you make millions, and you going back trying to help these niggas who don't want it. What would Mo three say if he was dealing with the same situation? He be at the same time right now that you dealing with with the Bumpy Johnson, with the number seven, the Dun Dun, uh, with all of the people, the Pink Pressure, all the people that you done dealt with, the Baby C's. What would Mo three say to you right now? He said, "I told you." He told me. I he the reason why I, I'm the reason why he signed Dun Dun to seven. He said, "I told you," and I wish I could tell him too. All the time you buy them chains for people and you did this, do that. We, we did that for nothing. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm not, I don't, I don't think I want right now is Mexicans. I, I like the Mexican rap. They lawyer. Now, and they on time. Nigga, I watch, for the Money Man concert, I told Sean, Sean said, can my artist come with you? I was like, yeah. I said, be here. I said, he said, well, Sean said, what time you walking in? I said, eight o'clock. Sean told him to be there at 730, right? I came late. On the way there, I rode through. I rode down Harry Hines for no reason. Caught a, I caught a flat on Harry Hines. I'm riding around Harry Hines with a flat tire. Do, 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 do. So I'm sitting there saying, I'm too old for this shit. I, I'm at the tire shop with Harry Hines. The dudes calling me. I FaceTime, turn the camera on, like, bro, I'm on. I got a flat. He's like, okay. I didn't get there for two hours later. That boy sat in the car and waited on me two hours later. One of my artists, I told him, meet me at 8 o'clock. He told me, man, I ain't gonna make it, make it there tonight, nah. Then he showed up with a whole bunch of niggas. That mission came too deep. Two or three people. And he and then I told I told him we ain't gonna let him perform because we came late. That's okay, bro. We'll get him next time. I fuck with it. Wow. 
Wow. I know why Mexican OT. I, I went to Houston. I mean, Mexican OT talking on the phone a couple times, but not really. I I seen him. He turned around. Rain water gave me a hug and. And, and and you want some liquor and you want this and you want that and it's only it's it's only it's a huge club only 15 people in the club 10 with him and five on the next uh, nobody showed to the club he started dj having a good time so i sitting there saying maybe god tell me to stop fucking with these niggas <laughs> right every nigga ain't the same nigga. i ain't fucking with no more rap or i no don't think that's the way to look at it man yes you gotta want it you can't set up and, and just judge everybody out of one nigga messing up you can find one good yeah yeah you I, but i ain't got time to go through it no more i, I found it i found it I, I, I want i like i like a mexican artist i'm gonna blow one up now i'm gonna take them to trailer village we're gonna do we're gonna do because you, it, it's it's free every week shit to promote it's the easiest thing to promote. We up here, we up here worried about niggas who beefing with each other, killing each other. You can't go on this side of town. He can't go on this side of town. When these people here are together, and they want it. They want it more than us. We 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 have been around this around this hip hop for so long, getting free fucking money, and now niggas is comfortable. Niggas ain't hungry no more. Rain ain't nobody right now going. Ain't nobody topping uh, right now according to the street zillionaire dough in Montana uh, sell money. Where in Dallas? In Dallas. Oh, for for so, it, for answer, boo. Sean posted him one time and he getting offers more than anybody in Dallas, Texas, who? right now. Sean, for answer, yeah. Sean posted him one time and he getting more. He get he, he, he Hispanic. Yeah, yeah. He and he getting more offers than anybody. Like they're trying to walk him into the label, give him a million dollars with no, with not one one hit. Man, you think I'm finna stay in this? And, and you think I'm finna stay with this ethnic group? Fuck them! But nah, I've been telling man. people that it's I've seen where a lot of Hispanics are coming up in the music industry right now, in the rap game right now. And we, listen, it's been a, we it's a are thing. Re, listen, we listen, we are man. we are retarded. Listen, down here is more black people and more Mexican than black people, right? That's whoa, Mexican OT and D Baby going for fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. Mexican OT going for 40,000 Our top rapper Big X going for 30,000 20,000 less Because They stick together And they come up with Fels well, They don't worry about Nobody getting shot Nothing right, um, That's because Didn't you, D-Baby you, get um, that, no, Shot up no, no, He didn't get he shot But shot. They, didn't they shoot after him No that was somebody, that was somebody, that was somebody else. else Yeah oh, okay. Okay, They trying to put anything negative on no, there No but D-Baby got into a fight With uh with, with Young Easy mm -hmm. I did you know, see one, that Wolfpack got in a one on one fight They ain't shoot nobody They ain't die Nobody died Now, now you put You put our flea market Against their flea market Our flea market is big T Somebody get shot every month they shot the biggest rapper, the, the, the Dallas biggest rapper, the, the Dallas rapper from out of town that Dallas been supporting for years, Boosie. Let a Mexican, let a Mexican superstar walk through Trailer Village. You gonna have every, everybody excited. I ain't no dummy, so I'm no now, right now. Man, if you if man stop fucking with these niggas, get you a Mexican girlfriend that got ties to a Mex to a Mexican artist. Boys, you out your mind? Don't you know the black culture is what made rap really pretty man, much relevant? Your mind. No, they too comfortable. I don't give a they, damn what you say, nigga. We be jamming, nigga. Yeah, but they, it's too, they, they too, they too, they too comfortable. That's why you know they killing each other and, and they praising people. They killing each other and they doing this and doing that. And they go, they looking out beef. They don't even buy each. They don't, they don't even buy their albums. They burning my CDs. They burning my CDs. Now I know why Booster was looking at that ceiling wishing he had a million. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, straight up. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.